Idaho, West Bronson. I want you all to uh, to learn some very important news. Um, eighteen hours ago, someone with the Twitch username Dog Poo Stomper followed me. I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know what it is recently. There's been so many people with good names following me. There was DJ Cum the other day. That was just like fucking funny. Yo, and Ross. In Rose underscore 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 just resubscribed for six months. Very pog. Very pog. Thank you, N Rose underscore underscore underscore. For the six months, enjoy your golden batch. How exciting. Wasn't that the guy who called you a bum while saying no disrespect? No, that was somebody else, I think. Yo, Crano, what's up? Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, this is an interesting one. I usually don't play mods on release because I'm usually slow, but uh, PHP sent me one over yesterday, and he's vouched for it. He, he has played it and says it's apparently pretty okay. So a little on the shorter side, but pretty okay, apparently. Um, so the long and short of it, it seems to be like a long night inspired kind of, you know, nighttime zombie theme um, for Vice City, I think. So we'll we'll give it a go. If if it ends up being pretty okay, then that's great because you know I like playing playing good mods. So we'll see. But yeah, there isn't a lot of like uh, release stuff. There's a GTA forums thread. There's not a whole lot else going on. Um, but the files look legit. It's not like you know some fucking malware installer like the Alien versus Predator one. Like these are legit Vice City files that I've got in front of me. So. Uh, let me set up a 1.0 installation and then we'll we'll install it. Give me one sec. You're super black white. 70 streams in a row. Holy. What a chad. So based. There was an Alien vs Predator malware mod. Yeah. Like I I tried to install it. It ran an installer, and then the installer installed Qbit Torrent. And it tried to torrent like a game with a completely different name, and I was like, "Okay, fuck this!" Like, I am, I am not like installing this thing. <laughs> like, it was, it was, it was trying to install adware on my machine in the installer, and I was like, "Okay, that's 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 as far as I'm pushing that." Um, yeah. Yo, Akuma Tai, thanks for the prime, dude. Akuma T just subscribed. Is that hype train? Holy, I love hype trains, dude. Has the dev released anything of note beforehand? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking know. Why would I know that question? I don't do research. I just play shit. All right, let's delete this exe. Put the 1.01 in there. It actually has its own exe, so I don't think this is necessary, but whatever. This is my usual process. 1.0 installation done. Then there's also a patch for it as well, which has GXT, so I assume it's like just minor text changes, so we'll put that in as well. Uh, put all this in. Uh, it's an ugly-ass folder structure because all the scripts are in the main... Uh, are in the main thing instead of in the clear all the scripts folder, which is great. I love it when folders have like 700 files in the root directory. There's also widescreen fix, which I'm going to delete, but it has silent patch. Which is good. Yo, Sam Squanch, welcome. Uh, and we'll grab the patch as well. Okay. It's a main SCM and a text folder. Okay. So that's all that in. Uh, text here. Yes, replace. Yes. And then where does SEM go? Data. Yeah. Okay, that's installed and patched. I'm going to delete widescreen fix because only fucking losers use that. Is there anything else in the scripts folder? No, nothing. The only thing is limit adjuster and silent patch, which I don't care about. We can keep that. Let's see if it boots in window mode, shall we? Uh, duplicate this. Unsettling night. Uh, Rockstar Games. Do, 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 do.
Okay. Okay, gonna boot it up now. Uh, so if you, if you, um, you know, it might blow our ears off because it has a new EXE. So if it has any like custom intro movies, it's probably gonna be loud. Here's your warning. Turn your volume down if you've got it on loud because it's probably gonna be loud. Let's see. Booting now. It booted and then immediately crashed at address zero 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 zero. Fantastic. Uh, let me try and boot it without DXWND. Try and boot it normally. See if it crashes there as well. No, it boots, but it's very loud. Yep. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, this is really strange. Okay. Look at this. Let me uh, turn it down, and I'll capture it. So, uh, that should be better. Okay, uh, you can turn the audio up now. I've fixed it. Let me... How do I capture this? I don't remember. Try and game capture. I don't remember if this even works or not. Oh, it does work. Look at this. Look how weird this is. It's like a, a fly or a... B or something? Very strange. Very, very strange. Uh, we'll restart the game, because I'll, I'll show you the intro movie that blew your ears off. Uh, so give me one sec. And we'll also resize it to be in 4x3 as well. Uh, 140 by 1080 and we move it, what, 480 across? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, restart the game. Go here, here. This should hopefully capture. No, it's not capturing. Okay, I guess we're not watching the intro movie. No, it's just not capturing at all. This is why I fucking hate full screen games that just don't give you an option for windowed. Oh, there, there it captures. The second I tab out, it captures. Yo, PHP, welcome. Yeah, we're just trying to get it to work. Okay, let's go. Uh, is everything set up correctly? This all looks fine. Yeah, this looks fine to me. Okay, cool. You guys ready? Let's uh, let's do it. Oh my fucking god! Nine hundred and ninety-four just gifted. <laughs> One hundred subs. Fuck. Holy shit, dude. Um, thank you? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I, that, that was not expecting that. Holy moly. Uh, thank you, Gardo, for the hundred gifted subs. Holy shit. Did he misclick? I hope not. <laughs> I, I, I absolutely hope not. Did I miss the train? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Possibly? I don't know how the fucking height trains and stuff work. Uh, very bizarre. Uh, uh, thank you, dude. Assuming that was intentional. Thank you so much. That's crazy. Uh, enjoy your gift subs, I suppose. Looking to buy that VAP badge? I need to do tier 3 for that. Yo, Eddie, welcome. You're all just in time. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so let's, <laughs> let's get moving. You're all perfectly in time. Let's go. This mod doesn't steal any of the... I didn't even see what that says. Unsettling Night. Free roam, tank, dream, road, dream mode, and storyline mode. Uh, I guess we go storyline to start off with. Storyline. The Unsettling Night. We gotta abandon this place. It's us two and we can't handle it. We gotta find... There's no brief. Okay, good. I don't know what they said and I can't read that. Try to fill its old place so you can stay there. Okay, who are we? Oh, the zombies coming after us. Okay, let's uh, let's chill. We're just like two generic NPCs. Okay, we're going to Phil's place. Let's go. The hood looks good. The red square around the um, the red square around the uh the thing, like the punchy icon looks kind of weird, but sure, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, can we play some music, I guess? 
Yeah, good. Perfect. While we do the drive. So yeah, this this very much screams long night to me. Um, it's very much seems to be inspired by it, at least with the you know the less draw distance, the zombies spawning and running at you all the time. Um, the 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 rain, you know, the lightning. Yeah, it, it is very much uh, inspired. Maybe that's why they had the note that says like it doesn't steal or copy from other mods because maybe they thought they were gonna get accused of stealing from Long Night. I don't know. But I mean, I don't have the idea of... I, I I don't consider this stealing. I consider this being inspired by it, you know? Okay, there's a black marker here and some vehicles. We're getting hijacked. A few weeks later. Look, Jack, we gotta get out of this zombie-infested place. It's not safe here, man. I told you, I need to search for my brother. What if your brother is dead? What will you do? Punctuation could be good there. Hey guys, you better stop arguing because those zombies are going to come here and chew me and both of you. Is that so? Hey, chill. I'm a survivor. Can I join you? Well, what's your name? It's Brad. What's yours? Well, it's Jack. Jack Marshes. Wait a minute, Jack Marshes? Oh yeah, you're the famous killer in Liberty's- I can't read that. Well, we're searching for him. We can't find him, though. I can't read that either. Well, what's your name? It's Mike. Mike Harrington. Now get in. I think I hear groans out there. Okay. Mission done, I guess. We have exactly 136 bullets in this- Oh, there are zombies here. I thought the entire point of this- was to not have zombies in this place. But somehow they spawned in anyway. Okay, they're just running through the gate? Or what? How are they getting in? Because they're all stood there waiting, but then all of a sudden these ones are here. They take a fucking beating too. Maybe I have to shoot them in the head? I think I might have to shoot them in the head, otherwise they don't die. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. It's health armor. Um, can I save? In here? Uh, I can clearly see that there's like a marker somewhere to save the game. Maybe behind? No? Am I, am I dumb? There's another fucking zombie here. How do I save the game in case it like crashes or something? There's clearly like a pink glow. Is it here? Like, do I have to like... I guess they didn't remove pet nodes, yeah. Are you still on a mission? I guess. But there's a an icon for the save marker. So I should be on mission zero in theory. There's a black marker. Oh, here. Okay, well that isn't like obvious at all. <laughs> I would have never have noticed that if you hadn't have mentioned it. Okay. Sure, let's go. Okay, now we can start, I guess, the next mission. Yeah. The black markers, you can, like, barely see them at all. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Uh, dinner search. Hey, Jack, Mike told me we should go and get some supply. I can't read that. Get in the car and drive to the restaurant. Okay, I've got 202 shotgun shells. I don't know why they, uh, they give you such specific amounts. Of everything. And why are the cars parked like this? I guess people just like got out and ran when the zombies came. I guess that kind of makes sense. But it's weird that they have like cars in a few places. But then not like nowhere else. Yeah, forget about the briefs. You can't read anything. Yeah, I, I already tried to do that and couldn't, couldn't read a single thing. So whatever this dialogue is saying, there's no way to know what it says. Because they, they, they scroll the text way too fast. You can't reasonably read it. And then you, uh, you can't do anything to actually, you know, get it afterwards. Cover me, I'm going in. Distract the zombies while Brad is gathering food. Okay, isn't that a direct... Okay, this is... This is literally a mission from Long Night. I, I'm not... I'm, I gave them the benefit of the doubt originally. This is literally a mission from Long Night. 
where you have to like just Tony Lynch, chill just while somebody one. goes into a shop on this road. But the only difference is, is that in Long Night, it's the pharmacy and somebody is doing it with medicine and you've got to wait for a minute. Dorco1105 just resubscribed for five months. Yo, Dorco, thank you for the five months of Prime. Welcome back. Yo, Tony, thank you for the tier one. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this is, uh... This is, this is very much, I would argue, one infringement at this point, because that is literally just the same mission. There's not a lot you can come up with. I would disagree. I, I think there's plenty you can do with a zombie idea. I don't think you need to steal missions from other mods. pick this guy up. Just teleport in. Let's go. I got food. Okay. And I will just drive back, I guess. <gasps> okay. Snackies, yeah. The guy's like, come on, we've got we've got our rations. And he comes out and he's got like, a packet of Oreos or something. <laughs> Bag of mini rolls. Mmm. <laughs> Sustenance. Are we done? Alright, mission done, I guess. Okay. Uh all safe. Yo, Pleskin, welcome. I'm good. How are you? Kind of worth it. <laughs> sure, I'd do it. All right, next mission. This is really weird that it like, completely freaks out like that. Telephone strike. Hey, Jack, good to see you, man. Where were you? I was chilling here. It's hard to survive out here, you know? Phone ringing. Whose phone is that? It's mine. Let me check who's ringing. Hello? Help me. I think I'm going to die. Dude, chill out. Where are you? I'm at Little Havana. Please come and save me from these zombies. Sounds like trouble, eh? Let's go. There's a Fagio outside. We can go to Little Havana there. Okay. Well, Little Havana is quite a big place. Oh, I'm spawning in and immediately getting fucked by zombies. Okay. Sure. Uh, by the way, uh, if this wasn't obvious, oh, we have like 20 seconds to get there. Okay. Oh, it's literally around the corner. Okay. Uh... Just to be, just to be, if it wasn't obvious, spawning you in with, in front of a load of zombies to take all the damage is cheap. And not only that, but expecting you to get onto a bike where easily the zombies can uh, knock you off over and over again is uh, not very good. Mission failed. Why? Why did I fail the mission? I'm dead. It's game over. Loser. Okay. I didn't do anything wrong. I just got off the marker. Okay. Well, if you fail a mission, it's just literally over just like that. Like... Old style. Okay. That's very weird. Uh, so I can just load a save or not. Okay. Guess I'll load a save. I, I don't even know why I failed. It didn't even give me a condi condition. I just got there. Immediate mission failed for no reason. Sure. <laughs> Yo, Nubist, welcome. Uh, these are unskippable. Fantastic. This <laughs> fucking... You, you have to watch, like, a minute-long cutscene oh, that's unskippable, and then you have, like, 15 seconds of gameplay before you fail the mission for no reason. Maybe it's just a failure at life. I mean, it is. You, you die if you fail any missions. It's literally game over. Like, if I didn't save, I would have had to redo the entire mod from the, from the start. Super weird. Okay, let's go. Guess we'll go this way. Oh, for fuck's sake. So here's an example. So you fall off here. I'm probably not going to be able to get back on now because I'm just going to get stunlocked. Yeah, like I can't get this guy back on. Yeah, 
Like, this is what happens. You just get stun locked to death. There's nothing you can do. Yep. The man got eaten by the zombies. Well, at least we got a fail condition this time. Game over. Random flashing lights. Interesting that the dev has a single post on GTA forums and it's this mod re mod's release. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't actually post on the forums anyway. D don't blame the guy. <laughs> Yo, Barack, welcome. Why does it spawn you facing the other way as well? Just weird. You literally have like frames to escape there before you immediately get stun locked into failing the mission. Super weird. So I, I go here, but I have no idea who I'm supposed to be defending. It just says kill the zombies. But there's just like infinitely spawning of them. Oh, thank you for saving me. Like I'm nowhere near this guy. I can see him over there in the background. But like, there's, it's not marked at all. I have no idea where I'm, who I'm supposed to be saving. Like, they look exactly the same as everybody else. Like, they're not marked on the map or anything. Just really bizarre. Yep. This is the this is the classic that happens in Long Night as well. Yeah, it tells you to get into a car, and then you just can't because there's like infinite zombies stun locking you the second you get in or try to. Yeah. It's crazy that they took so much um, inspiration from Long Night, but didn't learn from the mistakes that they made. Because this is such a basic mistake that just, like, ruins, ruins the flow of the game. Having to, like, manipulate the zombies to be able to get into a car. But they just, like, made the same mistake, I guess. It's, it's weird. I guess it's a good way to be inspired is to make all the pitfalls that the other mod made as well, as well as the good choices. I don't know. Weird. We're not in the marker. There we go. Okay, we're done. We'll save. Would be better if they just attack the car. Yeah, I mean, that's a fair point. Transit business. Hey Brad, where's... is that an I or a J? Oh, Javi. Javi's currently sleeping right now, but he told me that he has a bus parked at the pier. I can't read that. Get to the pier. Hey look, we're again given a random amount of... we have exactly 75 bullets, and we're again spawned into danger for some reason. Okay, we're going to the pier. This one's gone to the main road and fly down. <laughs> it's like social commentary or something. Aren't all mods a form of social commentary? Oh, fuck. Uh, police cheater? Will this mod make you reconsider that Long Night is not that bad? No, Long Night is objectively bad. And you will never convince me that it isn't. But my what I say about Long Night is that for its time, it was good. But for 2024 standards, it's terrible. But you can't judge it by 2024 standards because it came out 20 years ago. Like, I, I, I gave it an okay rating purely based on the fact that for its time, it was good. But in terms of mechanically, it is terrible. Like, the mod, the mod barely functions. If you don't do random things in random orders, you can't progress. 
You can just lock yourself out of progress. Like, it's stupid as fuck. What's the standard microtransactions battle pass? No, the standard is mods that function properly. Don't crash constantly. Don't soft lock you out of progress for no reason. You know, actually playable mods that you can play start to finish without constant crashes. That is the bare minimum for any mod. Especially in 2024. But like Lon Knight is like an OG mod, so it, it it has like a reputation, and it deserves that reputation, like to be remembered fondly. But yeah, like it is objectively not a good mod. It has a ton of issues that would never fix. Why are these markers so, like, specific, man? Because I don't know how difficult they are to hit before you start, like, getting fucking taken out by the, uh... By the zombies. Okay. Reunition with family. What's going on, man? You were calling me? I was calling because Javi created a car with a GPS that could find Joe easily, you know? Oh, well, great. Where's the car? It's a black Infernus. Javi parked it as a surprise for you. You came back to the place, right? Oh, so that's why there was an infer at Infernus there. I'll pick it up. Something, something. Get in the Infernus. Oh, good. It's parked right here. How convenient. Now we're going to find Joe. This thing is telling me to drive to the unfinished building in Vice Point. Let's go. The unfinished building in Vice Point. What unfinished building? The construction bit? Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, we'll go across this bridge, I guess. Gonna need a seizure warning for starting these missions, yeah. I don't know why they're like that. I've never seen a mod that has, like, it glitching out when you start a mission. That's so weird. Who's Joe? Joe Mum. <laughs> Got him. Is this long night but good? Uh, so far, no. I'm playing a uh, 16 by 9 bush. So it's ex while well, you're seeing it is exactly how it's supposed to be. Unless it's a widescreen fix thing, but I, I don't think so. Okay, let's go and find Joe. Hello, Joe. Joe, why the fuck are you here? What happened? This is not the time to talk, guys. There's zombies right there. It was Mike. He works with these Haitians. That motherfucker, let's... Look, let's return back to the place. Havi something. I couldn't see what that said. Because the fucking text doesn't let you actually read it. Let's go in the Infernus. Now I've got to somehow get Joe in without the fucking zombies throwing me out. I, I did it somehow. Let's go. Whee! Yeah, the zombie's very polite. Okay, let's go. It's so dark. Yep. Yeah, I think with any of these zombie mods, including, like, Long Night and this one and any others, like, you need to come up with a solution that isn't just having the fucking things throw you out the car all the time. But it's just such an annoyance to do anything in the missions when you've got to, like, even something as simple as getting your, like, person into your car. Uh, this is interesting. I've run over so many random fucking zombies that I'm almost on fire. 
Um, yeah, like, there has to be a better solution than just having to, like, constantly fucking babysit AI while getting, like, randomly stunlocked out of your car. It's just so annoying. Like, it's just, it's just frustrating. It's not fun, you know? Okay. So, my, my main issue of this so far is right now, like, we haven't done anything. Every, every mission has been as simple as, like, drive somewhere, grab something, come back. Or drive something somewhere, shoot something, come back. There's been, like, nothing else to it, right? Like, these, these first couple of missions have just been, like, you know, filler busy work. Like, there's absolutely nothing, like, unique about this. Whereas if you look at Long Night, and again, here's a compliment for Long Night. Uh, I did not want to start this mission. I was nowhere near the marker. Okay, I guess we're just doing this mission now. I was absolutely nowhere near the marker, but sure. Of course that motherfucker isn't there. Knock knock, bitches. Come out, Jack Marshes. Kill the bikers. I'm spawning right into their crosshair. Okay, great. So... Anyway, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, um, what Long Night does is even in the first couple of missions, there is like action straight away. Like the one with the bikers, interesting that they're also got bikers attacking the place here, which is clearly stolen from Long Night, by the way. Um, yeah, like the, the second mission I think that you do in Long Night, you already have a huge ac action sequence with uh with people coming in and like the bikers like taking over the film studios and you've got to take them down it's like a fun and engaging mission but this the only engaging parts that they have are stolen from long night and it's exactly the same bikers come coming into your place phil's place instead of the film studios it's just the same thing but on a much lesser scale like two bikers and that's the mission that's the entire mission it's just two bikers with pistols. Literally a five second long mission. Like why? What is the point in that mission existing at all? Nothing happens. It just doesn't make any sense. Like the missions are like three seconds long. Nothing happens in them. It's so bizarre. Okay, that's weird. Sure. Relative underscore degree just resubscribed for two months. A. Hey. Your relative degree. Thank you for the two months. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is super weird. Like, all, all the ideas are, like, ripped from Long Night, it seems. Apart from the original ones, which aren't, aren't interesting at all. Like, all of the unique ideas are just filler, you know, nothingness. And all the good ones are just stolen from Long Night, and then just worse. Like, executed worse, I don't know, it's super weird. Yeah, and the marker, like, I'm not even near the marker and I'm starting the missions somehow. Story time, the stuff for experience is horrible, man. Another weird glitch. What the hell am I gonna do in this apocalypse? Everyone's dead, that mic guy is trying to get me, I can't read the rest of it. Let me get the stuff I left at the unfinished building in Vice Point. Okay, I guess I'm Joe now. But I have the same weapons as I had with the other guy? I don't know. Where did it... So I, I'm running all the way from here? No vehicle? No nothing? I'm expecting... Is the golf cart here? The golf cart should be here somewhere, right? No? Is it not in that bush? It isn't here. Unless I'm dumb and I'm going to the wrong place. It should be in that bush. Huh. They even removed the golf cart, which would be the one way to not have to run all this fucking way. Crazy. Okay, I guess we're running all the way from here? To the road? To try and get a car? Like, why has there been a convenient vehicle every other time, but now we just have to, like, run all the way across the map? And there's no vehicles here. 
So we're just gonna have to sprint all the way over? Like what? There are vehicles here. I guess we're taking this. Sure. Yo, Plan DL, welcome. You're Toyo. Sorry that you forgot your headphones. Um, I hope the viewing experience with no sound is good for you. Yeah, that, that makes absolutely no sense to have you run all the way there when every other mission is giving you a convenient vehicle. Makes absolutely no sense. The gold cart spawned for me when I did this mission? Okay. Well, either, either way, most players won't know that that golf cart exists. So the idea of like it being, you know, almost mandatory to make this mission sh not stupid is is dumb, you know. There should just be a vehicle there. Either have no vehicles or vehicles for every mission. You know, there's no point in having it different. Okay. Oh. And, of course, it's not smart enough to check that I just fell. Have I just soft-locked? Yep. <laughs> just like that. This is how you do QA testing. You just play the game and soft-lock. There's no, there's no check. There's no fail-safe in the cutscene. There's, no, there's no, no, no checks at all to, to see if you fall off. Just run in a direction. Hope you get to the point. If not, soft-lock. Classic. When someone mentioned earlier that this uh, the developer was um, already working on part two, when part one functions like this, it's exactly the same story again. Developer mod put a ton of effort into it. It's unplayable because it you know, has a ton of issues and soft locks and this, that, and the other. And then they're just like, yep, on to the next one. Not even going to bother fixing it. Straight on to part two. It's so bizarre. I don't get it. I do not get it. Why would you put so much effort into something just to have it be non-functional and then just, that's it. Be done with it. Where is my- where is the audio? Oh, it is there. I couldn't hear it for a second for some reason. Uh, this is the right one. Yeah, it's just- it's so weird. I don't get it. You like rhythm games? Rhythm Doctor is a great game to try. I don't- I haven't heard of Rhythm Doctor. Some people would love to start projects but not complete them, I guess, yeah. Very strange. Very, very strange. Golf cart? There is a golf cart this time. But I'm just gonna get stun locked out of it anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's useless. We've gotta run all the way. Very epic. Look at this stellar gameplay, dude. Can you use the autosave mod with this mod? I don't know. I, I'm playing it as it's intended to be played, not with other mods on top of it. So you might be able to, but if it causes issues, I wouldn't be surprised. All right, let's go again, but I guess we'll get off the bike prematurely. It's weird because the marker can be triggered by you on the bike. So the dev obviously realized that you could trigger it in vehicles, but then didn't actually do anything in case you trigger it in a vehicle. And you just soft lock anyway. Like, it's so weird. Yep, 
Yeah, you can save between each mission, so I don't think there's any point in using autosave. I think that would just cause more issues, I think. And now it should work. Yep. What the fuck? Where's my stuff? Oh. Dies. Okay. Okay, and that's it. Just a mission. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, where's the content here? The entire mission, drive to the construction site, pick up Joe, come back. Next mission, drive to the construction site, done. That's it. This, that mission is exactly the same as the last one, but with the other half of the mission taken away. It's just... There's just nothing. That that mission is nothing. There's no point in it being there. Like, there's just not a single mission that's worth actually playing. There's just nothing. It's just... It's just filler content. The entire thing. Well, Harvey says that we need heavy equipment for this one. He knows where stuff are. They are at the mall in Vice Point. I can't read the rest. Go to the mall in Vice Point and take the equipment. Okay. I don't want to skip that. I like that song. Still sounds like a Google translated Russian text, not gonna lie. I mean, it's it's obviously uh, not the best English you've ever seen. They definitely need someone to rewrite the GXT for them. It was an SA song. It'll be on next. I didn't skip the song. I just, uh, I just went back because I skipped the other one by mistake. Where the fuck did it even go? Okay, I've just lost my bike. <laughs> it's too dark. I can't even see where it went. I guess I'll get the burrito. Wait, I thought I was going to the mall in Vice Point. And the game crashed. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. Uh, good shit, dude. Good shit. I could have sworn it said that we were going to the mall. And then I'm like, I thought we were going to the mall and the game just like crashes. <laughs> Alright, my bad. Oh, it said at the bottom right there, inspired by Long Night. So at least they wrote that, but again, I'm not sure it's inspired when you literally copy a few of their missions. I would say that's more than uh more than inspired by. That is literally taking content from Long Night. Okay, let's do this again. I'll sit a Banshee because I'm sick of falling off the bike by hitting zombies. I forgot to check whether it said more or not. I swear it said more, but I just didn't read the text at all. Maybe it said shop? It said mall? Okay. So we're going to the mall, but we're just not going to the mall. Okay. Oh, it's gone. Is it still boring? Uh, it's transformed from boring to uh, 
Soft lock and crashes, Waris. You can choose whether that's better or worse. How do you get the OG VC now? Uh, you can't. You can't officially get it anymore. You have to buy the definitive edition. Because fuck you. Okay. We're in not the mall. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, borrowing something? Looks like you're at your funeral. I guarantee I get spawned right in their crosshairs. Check this. Yep, I knew it. Instantly spawned into these guys with M4s. Classic. Yep. I can't even see them because it's so dark. I can't even see who is the SWAT guys and who are the things. Should have quit trying to kill me. Let me search that one's body. Immediately gain control into damage again. Holy shit, this guy has keys for a yacht on him and a tracker. I should bring this back to Javi. We could get out of here fast. Get back to the safe house. I'm stuck on their corpses. Okay. I would laugh if uh, this was the ending, by the way. Where it's like, oh, we got keys to the yacht and now we're gonna escape and that's it. And there's been not a single mission that has had like any substance to it. That mission there was like the only one that's been even like close to like a, you know, a, a fruitful mission. But even then, it is, like, barely, you know, worth your time investment. Do you know which mod you escape by boat to? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Also, the fact that this is also ripped out from Long Night as well. It's exactly the same concept. But, I mean, I'm not surprised. Every, every good idea has been taken away from Long Night so far. Okay, that's another mission done. I love how the health always respawns, but the armor doesn't, by the way. You just got the one armor for some reason. SWAT trouble. We should get out of here fast. You got the keys to a yacht, you know. Sure, but... Open up, bitches. You stole our equipment from us. Bro, go get Javi and Joe. We will kill them. It's just the same mission again as the biker one. And you spawn instantly into a ton of damage. There's almost all of my health gone. Instantly spawned in, taking a fuck ton of damage. Yep, these guys are extremely accurate as well. I didn't even get to fight, and I've already... The mission's gone. We got the motherfuckers. And that's it, mission done again. I didn't even do anything. The mission's five seconds long, copy and pasted exactly the same as the other mission. And just, I didn't even do anything. I, I, I literally took my hands off of my fucking keyboard and the mission just passed itself within five seconds. Like, what's the point? What's the point in that mission existing at all? It's just such a waste of time. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I don't get it. Getting ready. The SWAT group has been giving us lots of trouble. I think we should get out of here as soon as possible. What are we going to do with the yacht's keys? We can't leave that behind. Well, in that case, we should borrow that yacht. I think the yacht's still at that spot. You should go get it, make it back safe. I'm going to go and get the yacht. Okay, sure. Sure, man. Whereabouts is the yacht? I assume at like the thing? Yeah, at the marina. How, how do you guys bet this mission's gonna end? I bet I'm gonna drive to the marina and I'm just gonna like fade to black and that's gonna be the mission done. Like I just go to, go to the end of it and that's it. It's like, oh, I've got the yacht and that's it, done. 
Hello, Shadow Wolf. You can type exclamation mark mod and you'll get a uh, rundown of it. Are you enjoying yourself? I mean, sure. It's it's good content. It's funny to to play and like enjoy, but it's just yeah. Like there's, there's absolutely nothing to this mod. The player turns to the camera and goes, "That's not very long night," and freeze frames, and then the fucking Seinfeld uh, thing plays, or like the curb your enthusiasm thing plays. Get on the yacht. Further gameplay? I was not expecting this. Hey, that's the guy the boss was looking for. I'm a waste, you fool. Am I gonna spawn in his crosshairs? Yep, you know it. Spawn in his crosshair immediately. Epic. Well, that guy was pretty hard to kill. I should park this yacht somewhere so we can get out of here faster. And that's the mission done. So, I was almost right, but in reality, it was just one more biz piece of bad game design, and then the mission ended instead. My bad, I should have added in the extra bit. <laughs> Fly or die. What's up, man? How's Javi doing with tracking Mike down? He's very close. Meanwhile, we gotta find new people. It can't just be me, you, Javi, and Joe. What do you suggest we do? There's a VCN heli at that VCN news building. Go up there, get in the heli, and wait for one minute. I can't read the rest of that. Is this just another wait for a minute and then the mission ends, or what? Yo, Tyler Kale, welcome. Yo, Exo Terry. Oops. Getting gangbanged by the random zombies is a bit bigger, bigger threat than spawning in front of the SWAT guy. Yep. You know it. Yep. Get on the helicopter. Right. Stay on the helicopter for one minute. Someone's shooting at me. Don't leave the hel- the bikers are shooting at me. And if I get out, I instantly fail the mission. <laughs> okay. So I'm supposed to take off while being shot at by these guys at the spawn right there. Yep. Sure, man. This mod is like DYOM version of Long Night? Yeah, pretty much. It's just Long Night, but worse. All of the good ideas are stolen from Long Night, and all of the unique ideas are just bad. The scripting work is pretty hard to do by just a single person, so I would not be so hard on the person who modded or scripted this. That has no relevance, though. Just because it's made by one person doesn't mean that it's immune to criticism. Like, let's say, for example, if you have 
a mod, right? And it's going to take 500 hours to complete, okay? You could get 500, uh, sorry, you could get five people and do 100 hours each to get there, right? Or you could do one person, it would take them 500 hours. But what this person has done is they've done it, they've done it once with one person for 100 hours. So it is unfinished. The solution is not to go, oh, it's made by one person, so therefore it's allowed to be bad. The solution is they should have taken more time to make the mod good before releasing it. Like, it isn't an excuse to be like, oh, I didn't have a team of people with me. Like, okay. Like here, a great example. Here, I'm supposed to be in the helicopter for one minute, but the connection is actually a minute and a half. That makes no sense, and you could easily fix that in just by changing the timer to a minute or by changing the text to say 90 seconds. That is a very basic thing. One person or a hundred people could fix that in five seconds, just like that. The other problem is this mission is nothing. Look at this, I'm not doing anything. Most of these missions, I'm taking my hands off the keyboard and the game is just playing itself. There's no gameplay here whatsoever. Whether you have a hundred people developing a mod or one, this mission is still no gameplay at all. There is absolutely nothing to say about this. Like, what is this? I'm not doing anything. I've, the mission is literally just to sit in AFK for a minute and a half. That's the mission. Like, you can't excuse this. Even if somebody made it as their first mod ever, like, great that you're getting into modding, fantastic. But let's be real, like, you need to see criticism because this is terrible. It, it's, it's, it's absolutely terrible design. When there is gameplay, it's bad design. You spawn into people with M4s and stuff. And the other option is no gameplay whatsoever, which is worse. Hello, is there anyone there? Yes, I'm Jack Marshes. Tell me where you are right now so we can come and get you. All right, we are currently at the V-Rock Studios. You should come get us fast. What am I doing? Why am I walking through people that are shooting me? Get back to the safe house. I could have taken the helicopter, no? No, of course not. Uh, that would be too logical. <laughs> I've got to walk, I guess, instead of taking the helicopter. <laughs> Again, one mod or 500 developers, that makes no sense whatsoever. Absolutely no sense. And uh, I'll also say as well, if it wasn't uh, already obvious, V-Rock Studios, literally the first mission in Long Night, is going to V-Rock Studios, by the way. Like, this entire story is ripped from, from Long Night. The whole thing. See you, Plan DL. Thanks for hanging out, man. See you next time. Did I not hit the marker again? Could have sworn I stopped at it, but. So I mean, like playing Ring Around the Rosie like this with the fucking like, just to get into a small ass marker that I can barely see. It's just such shit gameplay. Like, I can't even see where the marker is. It's right here. How am I not triggering this? Ah, <sighs> fucking hell. How, man? 
Look at the amount of fucking zombies. Get out the way. What marker? <laughs> I am- I am stopping in this marker, I fucking swear to god. I swear to god, I'm right on top of the marker there. And it just isn't counting, and I don't know why. And there's no way for me to check. Because of the fucking zombies. The marker is right there, you can see it. I'm stood right on top of it. Right here. There we go. I, I, it might be an on foot only marker, I don't know. But every other one has allowed you to drive into it. It's so bizarre. So bizarre, man. Okay. What next? Yo, Ariel, welcome. You survivors. Hey Brad, you were right. While I was on the heli, I got a signal to some people. They are at the V-Rock Studios. I can't read the rest of that. Good luck, man. I'll stay with Joe and Javi. Let's hope these group aren't a something. I can't read it. Hey, I guess we're going to V-Rock Studios, just like you did in Long Night. Yep. <laughs> I swear to God, if there's a guy in there that with a fucking shotgun like there is exactly around the corner like there is in Long Night, I'm going to laugh so hard. Exactly the same mission. Just fucking classic. It's looking similar to Long Night. That's because it rips off a ton of the mod. The story and even some of the missions are identical to Long Night. Yep, even the walk-in. This is all copied from Long Night. Oh, no guy with a shotgun there. Hey, are you the Jack guy? Yes, what are your guys' names? I'm Michelle. The guy with the golden shirt is Roman. The guy with the green shirt is Ray. What's yours? It's Jack. Let's get out of here. Get in the car and let's roll. Are we just driving them back? Why the fuck is Michelle taking so long compared to everybody else? Drive back to the camp, safe and sound. Guess. I guess we're literally just driving them back. That's it. What's up with taking over character controls? That's super easy, Super Black White. That's exactly what Long Night did. Are you that Jack guy? Yeah, what's your name? Yes. Narratively makes no sense. Mechanically makes no sense. Yep, that's the mission. Drive to a place, drive back. At least it doesn't crash, that's where you're wrong. I've already crashed and soft locked in my short playthrough. Story time 11, does that say? Michelle, I don't think we are gonna last here much longer. We should go to the V Rock Studios, maybe there's something out there. We're just gonna go again to fucking V-Rock Studios. Oh my god, man. It's just like the same fucking thing again. Oh god. It's just, yeah, just... The story times are supposed to be like flashbacks. But in terms of gameplay, they're just doing the exact same thing that you've already done. Have I played GTA for early redemption mod? Yes, I have. I've uh, I've played the entire thing on the hardest difficulty, by the way, not to flex, but I'm I'm pretty good. 10k hours in game, by the way. Yeah. 
Ben even has a CD with Fairly Redemption. True, I literally have it. Yeah, I have like three copies of the game. Two for PS2 and uh, one for PC. 20k hours when? In about 10k hours time. Three, yeah. I have it on a HDD on my modded PS2. I have the physical copy and I have the PC edition as well. Stay in the car. I'll check what's inside. Guy with a shotgun. Guy with a shotgun. Guy with a shotgun. Nope. I think we should stay here for a while until we get some signal from someone. Let me call Ray and Roman something. That's the entire mission. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's just the same thing. Again, the same mission. Just drive to V-Rock Studios. Mission ends. Just like that. What's the point in playing this? There's there's nothing. There's absolutely no reason. No reason to play this at all. This is the most content starved mod I have ever played in my entire life. There's there's no nothing no interesting stuff in this. Cleaning the vice streets. Hey Jack, since we are going to get out of this city, we should destroy I can't read that. Wait, Mike works with other gangs out there? Yeah, that's true. He works with the Haitians, bikers, and Cubans. We need to kill them. I can't read that. You're on to something. I'll get the Infernus with the track. I can't read that. Get in the car. We're using the Infernus again. Jack, do you hear me? Brad, that's you? Yeah, I'm going to guide you through this journey. First, go to the Spanda Express building. The Haitians, I can't read that. It's like, this mission has, these, this mod has no gameplay, so the only thing it has going for it is its story, but we can't read the story because the text scrolls way too fast. <laughs> no clue what the story is, because we can't read it. You're a cab driver, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Back to the Future mod page since it's releasing in 2024. Wow, like 10 years in development? I'm sure it's going to be great. There's nobody here. Ah, I'm gonna turn you into meatballs, little man. Okay. At least that guy's dead. Let me check if I need to something. Jack, are you there? Yeah, though there wasn't a lot of Haitians, I just killed a big one. That's great, but we need to finish this one group off and we can get the hell out of here. I couldn't read that. Now we're going to the tool store, I guess. Okay. Is this mod worth playing? No. There is zero reasons to play this mod right now. It is just full of filler. Die, punk! Okay. At least they hesitated before immediately shooting me there. I was fully expecting them to just, like, shoot me immediately. That's what they've been doing all the other times. Get back in the car. I would love to, but I'm blocked by these guys. Uh, nothing telling me what to do, but just a marker. We're going back. Okay. Go here. Kill guy. Go here, kill three guys, drive back. Yo, Sonny, welcome. Oh, 
<sighs> Drive to Groove, kill the person. Last day on Earth. Is this the final mission? So I guess today is the day we leave. Hopefully this mission will have some kind of substance to it. Yeah, I guess so. What the fuck was that? Sounds like it's coming from Mike's room. Let me check. You go wake the others. Go to Mike's room. Where is Mike's room? In here? No, get off him. Jack, are you alright? No, it bit me. <gasps> Fuck, we should try... Should we try cutting your arm off? I guess let's cut it here straight away, just like that. Let's just cut your arm off. He's gone. You guys should go. I gotta kill that motherfucker, Mike. I can't leave you behind, man. Just go. Go. Go to the Cherry Poppers factory and kill Mike. Okay, how do we know is it cherry poppers? Okay, man. If you can't use two-handed weapons now, this is like the first core mission in this terrible mod. Oh, you can use two-handed weapons. No problem at all. With no, with no, no arm, you can do it. Absolutely no problem. Wait, well, I guess Mike's dead. What? He's just dead? And now I'm dead, what? And I'm a zombie? And I fucking shoot myself. And then that's it! <laughs> that is it! <laughs> and look, there is several developers. You can't see them because they just br it just broke the thing. But there is several developers, that's not one person. There is a team making this. <laughs> it's just, that's it. There's no final boss, there's no good, like, final climax. The final mission is drive to Cherry Poppers, that's it. The mod's done, just like that. Oh god, man. It's just so bad, it's just so bad. Like, where do you even begin to, to like, break down how bad that is? Like, there's no creative ideas, there's no gameplay anywhere, it's just an hour of nothing. There's glitches, soft locks, crashes, like, it's just, it's just, there's, there's absolutely no reason to play this mod. Absolutely no reason to invest your time into it. And they're already like, oh yeah, part two coming soon. Like, this is what always rubs me the wrong way, and it's always the same story. You saw it with Hardline, you saw it with the challenge, you saw it with the Satandula. People release the mod. And then it is awful. It's terrible. It's so bad. It needs like weeks of work to become actually serviceable. And then the devs are like, nah, let's we'll just move on to the next thing. Like they just don't care about the projects at all. Why would you put so many hours creating something like this? Cause this obviously took a few months to make, right? Usually these things, weeks, if not months. Why would you put all that effort in and then make no effort to make it actually good? Like, once it comes out, people criticize it, and then they're just like, eh, move on to the next thing. 
it's just it just makes absolutely no sense to me i i don't get it i really don't get it press escape and start a new game or load a save if you can't hear that that's me pressing my escape button like shit just doesn't work it just doesn't work I guess I'm having to kill the game in Task Manager. Like, how can you think that this is good? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, you can't even beat the game properly without it softlocking. Okay, let's start again. Okay, so there was Dream Mode, Free Roam, and Tank. What is Dream Mode? Screwed. You're screwed. Get to the safe house before you die. I've got a, I've got a minute before I'm dead. Okay. Am I just playing with this weird ass filter? All the zombies are here. Sure. Take a car. Yeah, I mean, the, the drunk camera just to give everyone motion sickness as well is a real classic. And then we just go in here, I guess? Oh, what, what are we doing? How do we get to the place? How do we get in? Oh, there's a marker there. You just can barely see it. That's it. <sighs> What's the point? What is the point? What is the point in having it a whole... Like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't get it, right? The idea of having several game modes that you can boot into, great idea. Fantastic idea. Whoever had that idea, fucking fair fucks to you. I hope you didn't steal it from somebody. That's a great idea, okay? But then your extra things is just 30 seconds drive from point A to point B again. Why would you not just have that as a mission? At least the idea of being low health and potentially turning into a zombie is like a cool idea. If you put that into your story mode, that is one of your better missions. It's still garbage, like two out of 10 quality, but that is one of your better missions. Why do you have it exclusive for, for another game mode? Oh my god, man. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. What is tank? Tank! Welcome to Unsettling Night. Hammerhead versus tank. What am I doing? I have 900 health. I've got some, like, scratchy claws. I'm just killing this guy. I assume they also have 900 health. Riveting gameplay. Why do they have so much health? There's even a nightstick in here. Killing him crashed my game? <laughs> what? Okay, I've got to see this. How much health does he have?
Can you cheat to use a weapon? I mean, yeah, technically. But I'm curious to see how long it takes. Guess we'll put some tunes on and just wait. What on earth is going on here? This is a great new mod. Try spamming punch with crouching. Oh, I see. You, like, kind of cancel out the animation a bit. But you don't get them stuck in a corner by doing that. Like, they're able to move. <laughs> I think we're fine like this. Animation looks goofy. <laughs> yeah, it's the animations that are the problem. This entire thing looks fucking goofy. <laughs> what is the mushroom on your head? I'm Hammerhead, dude. He's Tank and I'm Hammerhead. That, that's what I've been told by the game. <laughs> oh, he died. Hey, the game didn't crash, but that's it. That's the entire fucking game mode. Wow, great. Definitely, a, a definitely worthy of the file storage on my fucking SSD. And then there's just free roam and that's it. That's it. Welcome to Unsettling Night Free Roam. Tommy with a bandage on. What is that sound? Okay. I have like infinite ammo with every weapon, which is cool. Does story mode not work? No, we already beat it. Story mode was about 20 missions. All of them were just nothing burgers and the thing just ended that was that <laughs> we've already done the entire thing we've 100 percent at the mod can you try it with a minigun sure uh did it crash i think it crashed my entire first monitor is black rip there's another crash. <laughs> capture, 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 capture. Uh, tank. It's not a tools, right, for the minigun? Weapon cheat, cheater. Yep, the game just crashes. <laughs> if you use anything except the chosen weapon, the game just crashes, just like that. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh, why is there a buzzing sound as the menu selection? I don't know. You would think that there would be some kind of relevance to insects, you know, with it being that, but there is none. There's there isn't a single insect mentioned in the entire thing. It's just, yeah. Fucking dreadful. Also, the free room has some missions. Wait, more content? Say less. Where? Where's my content? Oh yeah, there are missions. There's a thing over at uh, Love Fist. Surrounded by oh, I guess I'll take the Saber Turbo. 
Let's go. Content. Woo! Do we have to drive all the way to Love Fist's place? No, don't starfish. Okay. <sighs> Alright, the zombie code itself is just taken from Long Night. Uh, Hox, on the splash screen, it said it's inspired by Long Night, but most of the story and some of the missions are directly ripped from Long Night. Some of the missions, like the good missions, are literally just Long Night. Content. Saving a life. Man, this apocalypse. I can't read that. Help, help me. What the hell? Is someone screaming from my mansion? Let me check. I thought this is free roam. But it's not. It's actually mission based. Go to the man. Hello, man. Thanks for saving my life, man. What's your name? He says, running away and fighting zombies. <laughs> it's Tommy. What about yours? It's Liam, but I gotta go. Good luck out there, dude. That's it. That's the whole mission. Alright then. <laughs> mission two. Let's go. <laughs> quantity is quality well that's the thing I was just thinking about that you know usually developers they have to choose between quantity or quality most people don't choose both this guy picked neither which is interesting because there's no quantity and there's no quality either towering inferno hey ugly want a free car Sure, dwarf, what's the catch? Go on top of that building and go back down. That's it. Hmm, where have I seen this building and fire before? Interesting. It's almost as if this was in Long Night. And the idea is once again stolen. <laughs> this exact concept was already used 20 years ago by somebody else. Yep. And they use Clio audio, so it's extremely fucking loud for no fucking reason. Yep, this is this is literally the exact same mission. <laughs> it's just laughable. If I was uh, the developer of uh, Long Night, don't get me wrong, uh, Hellfish or whatever they're called, uh, Hellfish are probably long gone, right? Like, they're probably not... Um, they're, they're probably not around anymore. But if they were, I would strongly consider, like, you know, going to GTA forums and saying that this is a ripoff and get it taken down. That asshole left me something... We're going over here, I guess. Hey, look, this mission is also used in that mission in Long Night. Kill him. He's just a fist fight, that's it. Yep. And that's it, I think that's mission done. I think that's all the missions, unless there's one over there. Next to the save icon. There's one mission, so it's exactly the same thing, the free roam mode. Mission one was a garbage nothing burger. Number two was stolen from Long Night. <laughs> it literally said this mod didn't take or steal, but got inspired to be made. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're going to say that 
And the reason they, like, okay, so there's some kind of, like, psychological thing here. I don't know what it's called, but I'll, I'm sure you know what I mean, right? If you are guilty of something, you will feel the need to defend yourself before anyone even attacks you. So this guy made a mod, and before he even released it to the public, he already was defending himself because he knew people were going to call him out for stealing from Long Night because that's what he did. So... If you are certain that you haven't stolen anything, you don't need to defend yourself. You don't need to put in the mod that, oh, this was inspired. I didn't steal anything, by the way. But the only reason that they put that in is because they knew that they were stealing. Like, it's just, it's hilarious. Ugh, it is so fucking bizarre. So bizarre. So bizarre. Okay, I guess we're done. That's it. 100% content completed. Um. Uh, final thoughts? Don't play this. It's not worth your time. You probably shouldn't play part two either. <laughs> it's, it's literally not worth your time. That's pretty much all I have to say because there's literally nothing to say about it. Moving on, I suppose. So, there's two more things that we want to do today. 